Javante Tank Davis tells Saudi Arabia, no, sir, I got the power. You want me to come over there? And then he sarcastically says, y'all got to send two Ferraris to my front door or something. <laughs> Let's be known, he ain't going to Saudi Arabia, dog. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Be sure to catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And please join the channel as a member. We drop exclusive content for our channel members every single week. Um, drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos that we do to help support the grind and the hustle of the channel and, it, and it allow us to continue to drop daily content and spend as much time making content for you guys as humanly possible. And last but not least, if you want to debate, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. So let's talk about it. I was talking about this shit all week. And people were telling me, well, Tank didn't say that. What if Tank wants to go there? What if Tank will go to Saudi Arabia? Well, he's let it be known that he got the power and that he ain't going no damn Saudi Arabia. He let that shit be known off rip. Now, Devin Haney, Bill Haney, the channels that support him heavy, that get get up every day to make anti Javante Tank Davis content with the purposes of lifting up Devin Haney, they don't like this. And they're going to spin this to you, the viewer, as Tank Davis ducking Devin Haney. Because he's not willing to give up his leverage to go to Saudi Arabia. It's nonsensical. It makes absolutely no sense. And it's something that Devin Haney himself has never done. Nor would he do, nor would anyone do that because it's stupid when you're in the business of any of boxing or any business to give up your overwhelming leverage. Devin Haney didn't give up his leverage to Shakur Stevenson. He exercised his leverage against Lomachenko to get Lomachenko to give up more money. He exercised his leverage against Regis Progre, who was the champion. Devin Haney was the challenger. He exercised his leverage against Regis Progre, who was the 140-pound veteran. Well established in that weight class. Devin Haney had never fought at 140 pounds, but they fought in Devin Haney's hometown. You know, he got two hometowns because when he fighting Las Vegas, is a hometown fight. When he fighting in, in the Bay now, it's a hometown fight. They just, they trying to do anything they can to make that young man sell, bro. If people ain't feeling you, dog. They just ain't feeling you, but whatever, right? Devin Haney's name was first on the marquee. Devin Haney was the one that had the fight put on pay-per-view. Devin Haney exercised his overwhelming leverage over Regis Progre because Regis Progre coming off of a deal with PBC, they ain't want him no more. Coming off of a deal with Pro Bellum, that shit fell through. Then finally signing to the zone, having a horrible event in both revenue generation and in a performance in the ring for his homecoming fight in New Orleans. Regis Progre ain't popping like that. So Devin Haney being more popping than him being a bigger draw than him was able to exercise his leverage over Regis Progre to get the things that he wanted because he had the power in that situation. But now, Tank Davis doing the same thing. People don't like that shit. People don't like that he won't give up his power to acquiesce to the demands of Devin Haney, Bill Haney, and his fans. And Turkey Ali, Ali Ashik. And if y'all don't like me saying the man name like that, bro, I don't know how to pronounce his name. He not from this country. And all that his excellency shit and, and, and all this reverence people show towards a man because he got some money. You know, leave that to the people of his country to show reverence to him. He just, I, shit, if you don't like how I say his name or you think you, it make you feel some type of way, whatever, bro. I'm me. I'm going to be me regardless, bro. <laughs> shit. So as I've been telling y'all, bro, the responsible way to push for this fight all goes back to Devin Haney has to be willing to do the same thing 
that he did to get the George Cambosos fight. And I find it highly funny that no one wants to admit that. And it's a pride thing. It's funny how he's showing more pride and more ego. His dad is showing more pride and more ego and talking much more shit and, and, and acting as if they have some sort of leverage or some sort of negotiation tactic they can use to take away Tank Davis's leverage when it comes to him. But when it came to George Cambosos, they gave in to everything the man wanted, bro. His team said, you can't tell not a soul about this deal or it's off the table. Yes, we'll keep a secret. You got 24 hours to respond to this deal or it's off the table. Yes, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. One way rematch clause. If you lose, you don't get no rematch. If you win, then you got to come right back to Australia and get a man a rematch. Yes, no problem, sir. And both fights in Australia. No problem, sir. And for this opportunity, you got to let us pick your third opponent. And it's going to be Vasily Lomachenko. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you guys say. Then, when told, if y'all really want to make the fight happen by Tank Davis, I'm done talking about this shit. If y'all really want to make the fight happen, you know who to call. Your daddy going to cry for what I'm going to do to you. You putting up that fake poster? What happened to the last person that put up a post? Y'all know who to call when y'all when y'all want to make the fight. You know what's up. You know what to do. We don't have to call Al. We got 20 million fake dollars right here. Monopoly money. It's just, it's obvious, bro. It's obvious. You ever, you, you notice that when, uh, when 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 Devin Haney or Bill Haney get overly public about a potential fight, the fight never happens. Gary or or you know what? Not overly public. Get very YouTube. -y. <laughs> when they get YouTube -y with a potential fight, or they get Twittery with a potential fight, Gary Russell Jr., Shakur Stevenson. Javante Tank Davis The fight never happens And they never really seem to be serious But when they wanted that Regis Progress They called Eddie Hearn And didn't nobody even know they called Eddie Hearn Until Regis Progress says something Just some interesting things that I noticed about This entire situation But what I would say is good on Tank Davis bro I wouldn't want nobody to give away the shit that they work for. Devin Haney worked for his status as a Hall of Fame champ, Hall of Fame fighter right now at a young age. He worked to be undisputed. He worked to be a two division champion. Don't get that shit away. Same thing for Javante Tank Davis. He worked to be the face of boxing, y'all. I know some of you watching this shit don't like to hear the truth, but it is what it is. He worked to sell those tickets. He worked to gain those followers. He worked to sell those pay-per-views. He deserved the leverage. He deserved the, the 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 stuff that that come with too. And what that comes with in the sport of boxing that we all claim we love is you're going to dictate where the fight is at. Ain't nobody putting up money for the fight but your people. Ain't nobody running the event but your people. And everybody else get what get in where they fit in. What's happening is Devin and Bill are trying to cash out and they want more money for the fight. They want as much as they can possibly get, and so they're trying to go other avenues. So everybody can eat. Shit don't work like that, bro. Cause your other avenues is trying to cut off the shit that Tank Davis, Al Heyman, and all those guys work for to put themselves over you in this equation, bro. You can't take that shit away from nobody, bro. You can't at all. Just like when they announce you, you work for the fact that when they announce you, they gotta say former undisputed champion. Tank didn't work for that shit, so when they announce him, they don't get to say that shit. 
you work to be able to say 140 pound WBC champion of the world when you get announced. Tank didn't work for that shit. So he can't get announced as that. When people have conversations about Devin the Dream Haney, he worked for them to be able to say he beat Lomachenko. Tank Davis ain't worked for that shit. So they can't say that shit about him. Javante Davis worked for. We putting on the fight in Vegas. <laughs> or we putting on the fight in New York. Our two press conferences, they're going to be in New York and L.A. Or we might do L.A. and New York first. When it's time to talk at the press conference, you're going to talk first. I'm going to get the last word. When it's time to be introduced at the fight, you're going to come out first. I'm going to come out second. It's my show. Our names up there, that shit going to say Davis versus Haney, not Haney versus Davis. That's what Tank works for. This is how much our promoter, my promoter, my team, my management, this is how much they're willing to put up in guarantees. I'm getting this, you getting that. That's what he worked for. Y'all trying to take it away from him. And he ain't going to let it work. And I told y'all, Al Heyman ain't going to let that shit ride like that, bro. Shit ain't going to work like that. Back in money. Here's the percentage I'm getting. Here's the percentage you're getting. Because what people need to understand is that Ryan Garcia was Devin Haney's only other path to being on pay-per-view in his next fight. Tank Davis is going to be on pay-per-view and he's going to break live gate records with or without Devin Haney. For Devin Haney to even have an opportunity to do any of that, he has to fight Tank Davis. In any fight, there, Tank is in a unique position to where any fight Devin go after, Tank could cut, him, cut his legs out from under him and get it first. He can cut his legs out from under him and get it first. Devin try to go fight Teofimo Lopez, Tank Davis could be like, hey, Tio. Hey, Bob, we want to make that fight next. And then, boom, you lose an opponent. So this idea that somebody was going to come around and trick Al Heyman, trick Tank Davis out of their spot in boxing, bro, you got to be out your mind. Like I said, that fight is going to happen in America. That fight is going to happen on Amazon Prime pay-per-view. So where's it going to happen at? That fight is going to happen to where Devin Haney is going to accept whatever guarantee, whatever pay-per-view pay back-end money they're willing to offer, whatever he can negotiate. He's going to accept it from their side. He ain't bringing no power to the table. He ain't bringing nobody that's going to be putting up money to the event to the table, bro. That shit ain't going to rock like that. And he damn sure ain't going to get one of the two biggest stars in boxing to fly across the ocean. And fighting Saudi Arabia. I told y'all all of this. And I'm glad that Tank Davis has came out and confirmed it himself. Now, we got to talk about this being a duck or not. Oh, this is a duck, KO. This is a pure duck move. Nah, it's a power move. It's a you don't run shit move. Get the fuck out of here. You want to go, like I said, you want to go to Saudi Arabia? He wants you to fight over there so bad? Cool, no problem. He want to put up money for you to fight so bad? Cool, no problem. Have fun with Sandor Martin over there. Have him put up some money for you and Adrian Broner to fight over there or something. Yeah, but you want to fight Tank Davis, you're going to you fight his ass right here in America, bro. This, this, is, this is a clear message. And I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Shout out to Al Heyman for being the only promoter here based in America that actually ain't scared to compete against Saudi Arabia. Like I told y'all, bro, top rank tuck they tail. Let me get some of that Saudi money, please. The zone match room tuck they tail. Let me get some of that Saudi money, please. Al Heyman telling y'all we just fine. We just go get a trillion dollar company to bag us too. 
You got them trillion dollars in all your money. They got these trillions of dollars in digital money. The zone still got to provide a platform for Saudi. ESPN Plus still got to provide a platform for Saudi Arabia. Al Heyman got the trillion dollar company behind him and they giving him the platform. That's better than the platform the zone got and better than the platform the ESPN Plus got, bro. So, I'm all for it. Exercise your leverage. We got no problem on this channel looking at business, looking at leverage, seeing who should have it and seeing who should exercise it. You can get mad at that all you want to, but I'm glad the fight happening in America if it happened. I'm glad Tank's standing his ground on that shit so I can have an opportunity to go to the goddamn fight. Everybody that's mad that Tank wanted in America are people that use fire stick shits anyway. This shit is Spencer and Crawford all over again. People that don't care about the fight being in Saudi Arabia, I guarantee you there's no way for me to prove it, but I'd be willing to bet that a lot of you, and Devin Haney's numbers prove this, a lot of you are fire stick users to your core. And the shit is ridiculous. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.